what are you going to be doing for Lent this year? As I look at over the, those kids over there playing, I think, what do I need to do? What, what do I need to change in my life that I can be someone that they look up to, that can be the example that I hope to give them, that, that I wish they had in every, every person, but what, what do I need to do to be, become that person that I hope kids look up to? Every year in Lent, there starts off uh, with Joel, rend your hearts, not your garments. And so Lenten penances aren't supposed to be something that's heavy, that we do externally, that is just something that we don't really like to do. That's never been the purpose of Lent. Um, the purpose of Lent is how do I open now my heart to become the person that God is calling me to be more than I have been so far in my life? What are the virtues I need to grow in? What are the vices I need to uproot? I've been praying about this in my own life and I was brought to mind a memory from my grandma the day I told her that I was going to enter seminary and I thought she would have a big reaction and she didn't and uh, I know she was praying for me but she just had no reaction and she just said you know Matt your grandpa and I have known uh, a lot of priests in in our life and uh, there's a lot of priests that can put a, a pint in a quart uh, but we look we like the ones that could put a quart in a pint. Matt, put a quart in a pint. <laughs> and so uh, she's talking about homilies and the length of time. And I know that's not one of my gifts. I try to make a good homily. I try to teach. I try to give some substance and not just tell a story. Um, but that's going to be one of the things I'm going to work on. I'm going to try to listen more and really try to make succinct homilies. And that takes more work. That takes more effort, more thought, more distillation on my part. But I think I want to be quiet more and listen more. I think that's where God's calling me to grow. Probably some of you are like, yay, finally, thanks, praise be to God. And others, you're like, what? I didn't even notice. And, uh, and others of you are like, oh, okay, I get it. But that's one thing that I think I can do. And I think that will teach me to listen to other people in conversations more. I think that will make me not about my thoughts and my words more, but have a listening heart to the Lord and to others. What is something that you think the Lord is calling you to, to grow that would help you to rend your heart, um, to be totally open to him, to become that person that you want others to be able to look up to and say, I want to be like them. I just ask for your patience that over the next couple of weeks, Diana is going to be gone. Praise be to God. She gets to go to her uh, daughter's wedding and she'll be away celebrating with them. So the office is going to be closed and things are probably not going to function as smoothly as they have uh, when she's here. So pray for them and, and this time of rejoicing. Um, but uh, probably know that we're going to be moving a little bit slower around the office without her here. God bless you guys. Bye.